Hello and welcome to Belfast. My name is Professor Michael Alcorn and I'm head of the School of Creative Arts here at Queen's University. The school incorporates the Sonic Arts Research Centre, or SARC, uh, which is a research centre for experts in the field of music, computer science and electronic and electrical engineering. Staff here at SARC are passionate about exploring the intersection between music, audio and new technologies. That intersection takes many forms, including the development of new technologies for live intercontinental music performance and also new forms of acoustic and electronic composition. Much of this activity happens here in the world's first sonic laboratory. The Sonic Lab is a unique space specially devised for live electronic music performance and includes variable acoustic panels, a movable ceiling and a grid floor. A unique grid floor places concert audiences in the centre of a three-dimensional space with 48 high-quality loudspeakers providing sound in front, behind, above and below the audience. The speaker array is controlled by a central console which could be used by the composer or sound engineer. Hello, I'm Chris Corrigan. I'm the technical manager and I teach audio engineering here at the School of Creative Arts. I'll be your host for this course in critical listening for studio production. Whether working in a space such as the Sonic Lab or in a smaller project studio, the qualities required to be an effective sound engineer are the same. Theoretical knowledge of sound and audio, technical mastery of studio hardware and software, and diplomatic people skills. But perhaps the most important and often overlooked quality required of all sound engineers is the ability to listen. Sound engineers must constantly assess the sound quality of individual sound elements in a mix and how these elements interrelate with each other timbrally, dynamically and spatially. The ability to listen critically and make these judgments is a skill that must be learned through trial and error and repeated practice. This course in critical listening for studio production will provide you with a range of technical ear training exercises designed to help you improve this skill. Each exercise will develop your ability to objectively evaluate the attributes of a recorded sound and the attributes of the signal processing applied to these sounds during the production of a music recording. Topics covered include the properties of sound, in particular frequency and amplitude, and the signal processing techniques commonly used by sound engineers, equalisation, compression, reverberation and modulation. Whether you are an experienced audio engineer or a musician wishing to gain greater insight into the music production process, this course will help you develop and hone your technical listening skills and join a growing community of audio enthusiasts and practitioners. We look forward to meeting you and working with you on the course.